get my plane all dirty. I know. So we're here in the uh, Stoll CH-750 Super Duty. I'm Sebastian. Hi and, guys, I'm Roger. And Roger, and uh, we're going to go flying. Uh, we had uh, snowfall here just a little bit earlier this week, so... Mexico traffic, Super Duty, back to Exodorne. There's not much accumulation as you can see, but there's still snow on the ground, so we figured this would be a good time. We, have, we haven't done a video in the new year yet, so this would be a good time to go flying. Update you folks a little bit on what's going on and uh, and enjoy some a bit of winter flying. So the runway itself, as you can see, that's nicely cleared. We're at Mexico Memorial Airport here, home of uh, Zenith Aircraft Company. And uh, in our Stoll CH750 Super Duty with the unpanel uh, screen display. And uh, what's the engine we have on board? We have the Aerosport 370, but uh, we're really pushing the, the Continental Titan or the Lycoming. Uh, uh, a couple of reasons, you just don't need 205 horse, and it's uh, a little quicker to get, too. Yeah, yeah. And nice thing, too, with the Continental and Lycomings, there's a lot of there are a lot of used engines out there, too, right? right? Mid-time right. or rebuilt one, overhauled engines. And uh, they're pretty much as good as a new engine. And uh, buying uh, individual from an individual, uh, you don't have the lead time associated. So let's uh, let's do a, a pre-flight. So we're gonna do a run up here, running up to 17, check each mission. And I've just been flying in the Super Duty, doing a demo flight, so it's, the oil should be nice and warm. We won't have to wait for the wall controls clear and free. We'll lower the flaps about to eight, nine degrees. Check the controls again. Doors locked, secured. Your seatbelt. Got the tank on the fullest tank. We got plenty of fuel, and we're just going to do a, a short takeoff. Uh, we won't do a high performance short takeoff, but it will definitely be a short takeoff. And we'll just climb out and uh, tell us what's going to happen in January and February. Looking forward to it. Mexico traffic, Spray Ball 750 Super Duty is going to be departing runway 18. Will be a local flight for Mexico. And watch as soon as the power goes in, pretty much airborne. Yeah, stick all the way back. <laughs> That's amazing. It never ceases to amaze me every time. Right. You, know. you don't have to do anything. You just I go know. back and just sit and wait. It's okay. When you're ready, you're ready. And it's only like, you know, two and a half seconds, so it's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, reviewing these uh, stole... Uh, Takeoff videos, uh, you know, from stole competitions, it's always entertaining. The, you know, the takeoffs, of course, are nice and short, but the landing is really where the skill is. It is, is exactly. That because uh, as you as you saw, even uh, even an incompetent pilot, even if it took you a little longer, it would still be extremely short. So. Right. Well, as we can see, we've got a bit of snow cover out here. Definitely more of a winter field than uh, than otherwise. Wow, I feel the heat already really nice. Yeah. This is kind of nice cabin heat. Is sure. Yeah. yeah, you got some nice heat over there. Sure, a nice feature to have. You can feel it nicely. Of course, it's not that cold today. It's actually starting to melt yeah, a little 48 bit. 48 degrees today, but tomorrow the next day is supposed to be like wind chill below zero. Right, wind chill in single digits. I think uh, highs are single digits. Right, aren't they? So, so 50 degrees difference in 24 hours. Definitely will be. So uh, we're in the new year. And uh, so, you know, happy Happy New Year to all of you. I hope uh, 2022 is uh, is not a repeat of 2020 and 2021, hopefully, with uh, COVID and the ongoing pandemic. We hope that that finally gets behind us. If nothing else, we're getting used to it, aren't we? <laughs> well, we've had fun, though. We've had a lot of challenges and, you know, just a lot of different things, but it's been great. And uh, you're right, you know, we it's always easy to, to complain about things, but at the same time, uh, people are good. And, uh, you know, business has been good. It's a, it's a bit of a challenge for us to, to keep production going all the time uh, at the scale that we're selling things. You know, sales have been very strong. It seems that across the industry, uh, folks have uh, decided this is a good time to be building or upgrading their airplane. So uh, it seems everyone in the business is, uh, is busy. I know our kids' lead times are, are definitely longer than we than we normally like them. Uh, again, sales have been very strong. So if you're a cu customer wanting to get started on an airplane, Roger, what's what's the best way to get going now? Well, the best way to get started is if you want to start building in sections, uh, either start out with the rudder kit or the complete tail kit. And the first thing you do is just call the company and call us and talk to us. And we can either get you scheduled for a rudder workshop or you can pick up the complete tail kit. Right. And that's going to take you, oh, about two to three weeks to build the right. tail kit. 
So you definitely get you started on something, right. right? And then once a tail kid, we can move on to the next section and, and so forth. Because uh, if they come out to the factory and pick up component kits, even shipping component kits is definitely quicker, isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We're trying to work around each customer right. according right. to their needs. Some customers don't even have to they'll, they'll wait for the complete kit. They, they don't mind the lead time. Other customers won't. So we're working with everybody's working together. Exactly. So, yeah. So if you want to get started, you know, don't get scared away by by, uh, uh, by a 10-month uh, lead time or 11 month lead time uh, talk to us we'll uh, we'll definitely uh, work with you so you have something to, to, to work on and I know one one thing some folks don't realize is just even just the, the blueprints you can buy the blueprints up front and uh, start studying them and the plans you know the, they are full plan set so it's a it's a detailed uh, assembly of the entire aircraft and uh, you can actually start building from the blueprints if you wanted to or uh, or again by by section at a time that way it really gives you a lot of information. A blueprint is, you know, gives you the DNA for the entire airplane. Everything is in there. So, uh, blueprints, component kits, individual parts and components, definitely easy way to get going. Next Wednesday, uh, EA is hosting, uh, well, all of next week, EA is hosting its Home Builders Week. And that's uh, a celebration of the, well, I think this year is going to be the 69th uh, anniversary of EA. Okay. Uh, they started, this is a second annual event. They started it last year, again, with the pandemic. They, they, they thought this would be a good uh, activity to do, and, and they've decided to do it as a yearly event now. And uh, it's basically, it's a, it's a week-long uh, uh, sessions for how-to sessions from all the experts in the industry, whether it's all the skills in terms of building airplanes from, from sheet metal construction, composites, all things like that, as well as uh, hearing from different uh, companies. Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Go to the EA website and, 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 uh, and search uh, Home Builders Week, and uh, the session will be listed. It's a free seminar, free webinar, but you do need to be signed up ahead of time. And uh, we've got about an hour or an hour and 15 minutes, I believe, to discuss uh, you know, updates about, uh, about the airplanes, about the construction, and so forth. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. It'll be a good discussion on that. And uh, certainly all builders, all enthusiasts, whether you're building or flying, or, or even just wanting to learn more about building and flying, it'll be a great uh, time to do that. So it's a EA Home Builders Week next week, uh, uh, Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. And uh, the next, next day, uh, next week, we also have a workshop again at the factory. And uh, that's our standard uh, two-day workshop. And uh, again, we've been doing these for, what, nearly 30 years? We still enjoy them, don't oh, we? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's just fun, fun uh, activity to do. And uh, then the following months, we also have a workshop, and we're, we're returning to uh, Texas with that workshop. Uh, Bernie, Texas, uh, one of our customers, uh, Bill Fahey, is our, our host for that. And uh, we'll be doing, I think we've already got, a, a, I think, nine or ten brothers signed up for it. I think we have room for one or two more. So if you're interested in that, uh, give us a call, talk to Caitlin or Joyce in the office, and see if we can get you in on that. And that'll be in uh, Bernie, Texas, that's uh, by uh, San Antonio. And that's going to be the 11th and 12th. It's Friday and Saturday. And uh, we'll be taking our cargo van along on a road trip for that one. So uh, doing some kit deliveries, delivering parts and pieces. So if you're in uh, southwest Texas or anywhere from uh, Mexico, Missouri, or on the way down to southwest Texas, let us know if we can uh, bring you some parts or pieces or components for your airplane because uh, we'll be heading out that way. And, of course, uh, come by to the factory. You know, we're, we're open Monday through Friday. Uh, the factory itself, 6.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Offices, uh, 8 till 5. Uh, come out, talk with us. Uh, any tech support, Rogers always looks forward to talking with customers. Keep us up to date on what you're doing. And, uh, of course, uh, any help that we can provide you in uh, finishing or operating your airplane, let us know. And, uh, you know, the factory, we, we continue to stay real busy in the factory. We have a, a new, a, an additional CNC machine, dual spindle uh, CNC machine that will be coming in the next month or two whenever they get that done with it. So definitely look forward to, to that. Uh, come out to the factory for a factory tour. Go flying with Roger. You still like doing demo flights, don't you? Oh, yeah. I enjoy it. It's fun. Yeah. Especially because I, a lot of the demo flights I've given to the wives, maybe, maybe the first flight. They've never been up in a small plane. I just love to see the enthusiasm. So if your folks are looking for something to do, come out uh, Come out to Mexico, Missouri at the factory. Fly in, drive in, whichever. Uh, just give us a call ahead of time. And again, we're there Monday to Friday. So great time to be looking. Uh, are about building and flying your own airplane.
So let's see if we can do a landing in the snow. What do you think? Sure. There's not a large quantity of snow, but there's still a little bit of snow on the ground. We've got the perfect tires for that. Mexico traffic, Spirit Bowl 750 Super Duty is going to be in our left downward for runway 1A, Mexico. I always love winter flying. Oh, it is. It's so nice. I love, you know, it's most of the time it's really smooth. Exactly. And then if you, if you go flying right after it's snowed, maybe a half a day after it's snowed, you can see all the wildlife in the yeah. snow. Just, it's amazing how much wildlife there is. And yeah, gorgeous day today, really, oh, for it flying. Is. It's perfectly smooth. Okay, we got gas undercarriage. Make the prop seat belts. Looks great. Bring back power a little bit. We're in the right arc, so we're going to throw the flaps just a little bit. So we're going to do a soft field landing because we just don't know the condition of the runway and we're going to be ready to abort it, do a go around if we feel like it's a little bit too soft or whatever, so. Hey, Mexico traffic, spare mode, be turning flat on for one Mexico. Okay, we'll go ahead and deploy the rest of the flats, 15 degrees. Clear it on final. Nice and slow. Yeah, we're in the 40s. Yeah, we really are, aren't we? <laughs> That's those birds nicely. Keep a little bit of power in, check the runway. It looks good. Yeah, it feels really good too. Stick all the way back, there it is. There's barely any snow on this side, is there? Yep. Now we'll want to find a nice spot to go up on. I'll watch for the snow banks, right? Yep. Looks like right here. Yep, nice spot. You get to clean the plane. I know, it, uh, <laughs> it didn't look like much snow, but enough to uh, get some dirty water on there, isn't uh -huh. it? The dirt. <laughs> Well, that was a fun flight. Yeah, it was great.